Welcome folks, this guide on how to play Deathwing, Space Hulk, Deathwing Enhanced Edition. So this is the special mission section, I'm gonna tell you how to play this game. So you have two teammates controlled by the AI, you have Brother Nahum who is an apothecary and Brother Barakir who is a heavy weapon specialist. Now you can customize these terminators in order to maximize your potential. Now one thing we need to note is that I'd like to note is that if you're starting out the game you should totally go in this section can you stop with the noise thank you we can go to brother Barakiel and you should start by giving him the thunder hammer now by giving him the thunder hammer you make him a good solid wall so basically you never have to worry about healing this guy because the AI is good at blocking damage with these weapons so he's gonna hold your rear like a boss, like a champ, okay? It almost feels like cheating. The problem is if you need firepower or like a long range weapon and you don't have one, this guy is gonna be out of the equation. Also it's easy mode, so but if you're starting out you should totally give him the Thunder Hammer. Avoid the lightning crow because it's not as powerful as the Thunder Hammer. When you become more um, knowledgeable about the game, you can start using the Assault Cannon and the Plasma Cannon. Now, Plasma Cannon is good against Brutal Lords and Heavy Armored enemies. And if you don't know who your enemy are, enemies are, you can start with the Assault Cannon, perfectly fine. You watch your enemies, who you're gonna fight, go back to the Psygate. You're gonna lose some experience because you use the Psygate. It's okay, it's fine, who cares? And you can switch to the weapon you need. Uh, Brother Nahum, I recommend you leave him as he is, unless you're playing the Apothecary, in which case you might actually give him a Thunder Hammer, or maybe a Power Fist, I don't know. Me, personally, I'm gonna play as a Tactical Marine, a Tactical Terminator, because I like them, and they give me the ability to apply a shield to maybe one of the two AIs, and have a turret following me, and resurrecting one of my team members. I think it's a great class. You can also use the Chaplain, which also allows you to uh, resurrect one of your AIs. So the first two classes that you should focus on as you start out are the Tactical Mar uh, Terminator and the Chaplain. These other classes are more um, um, specialized. So the Assault specialty is basically melee focused. Obviously you're gonna go with the Thunder Armor of the Maze of Absolution probably the maze of absolution then you have the heavy weapon specialty which is self-explanatory you can place mines and upgrade your rate of fire and damage and then you have the librarian which is like let's say a mage a psyker in this universe they are called psychers but you can call them mages and then you have the apothecary which is basically the medic which allows you to heal deploy an AOE but they cannot rest okay so you can play these other classes, I do recommend if you're starting out these two classes. And if you're playing with the Tactical Terminator, you can use the Shotgun, you can use the Flamer, you can use the Spear of Caliban, which is great against... It has anti-armor, so it's great against Bruce Broodlords. You have the Stormbolter Mark II, I do not recommend this weapon, it's not good. It's not very accurate, even though it says that it's accurate, but... I do recommend you start out with the Stormbolter. And you can switch to the Redemption, to the Shotgun, because it's also a good and satisfactory weapon. I do recommend starting out with a Bolter, okay? And a Power Fist. So, I'm gonna keep my Terminator as the Yard. We're go you don't have a Power Fist, no. Okay. Let's go down and see how we should be playing Brothers, once we are inside the, area the Space Hulk. The tech while they perform the ritual binary extraction. Okay, Belial is going to give you a random mission. The first thing you want to do is you press M for your map and you take a look at where you need to go. We need to secure the area while the tech priests perform the ritual, so this is a hold and defend mission. As you can see, well this is quite convenient, but let's assume our objective was like somewhere else. The first thing you want to do is to plot your route and you need to be very careful when you do that because these things here, these are Tyranids spawn points basically they keep spawning churning off tyranids in this case gene stealers um, and basically you need to avoid them as much as you can 
Now, these are two reds and you should always disable them, we'll see that later. So the best way to go is find the route. Let's suppose we need to go here to control uh, W101. If you go this way, which is totally doable, you can go this way, go this way and get in there. You're going to have to travel across all these spawners only to get here, block them over here so you can block these spawners. Go in here in another room with a spawner that there's a spawner here and probably here. No way to block those behind you and you get in a big room with one turret over here if I remember correctly and spawners everywhere and enough space for a broodlord to come and chime in and throw his two cents about how you should go on your adventure. With the only way you have to cross all over this big space, close this door and then you can go there. You could do that. Why? You could go also this way which is easier, block this door and move to the place we need to go. However, while you do so, you can get flanked by this way and this way because these uh, spawners are still there and they still keep churning out troops. What you could do is that is go this way as you have to minimize your exposure to gene stealers, close this door, effectively blocking these guys, move through this area, engage in a small tuffle in this room which has only one spawner in the middle, move here, block this room by closing this door, close this door too if you want to, if, this, if it's open and enemies are coming, you shouldn't worry about that, but you can definitely close this door and go this way in your merry way, close this door and go there. So plan your route see what's the safer route with well, if you if you are working down corridors it's fine big rooms uh, entails big problems next you're gonna use your scan function you can I don't know how to change targets but it gets the closest one you have the option to hack the turret disable the turret destroy the turret hacking the turret it's pointless because enemies will be spawned so unless you're playing a single cl player campaign where you can snipe some of the more less gene stealish tier needs, it's useless. Disable, I don't like, destroy, I like very much. So the first thing we're gonna do is destroy any turret we encounter. We, you can also shoot them but they will shoot you back. So it's also bad when you are killing enemies. Also that sets us in real time so when you hack Basically, the game goes into real time and you get can get aggroed by enemy. But what I want to do now is run very quickly to get a relic. Right? Pick up the relic. And I, I just want you to Okay, I just want you to watch when I melee these guys because it's very important that you understand that Man, something wrong with my key of my of my mouse Okay, block and then melee. Okay, keep on going. Oh. Be careful of psychers. Let's keep on going. I need to heal Brother Barakiel, so we do so. And then we're gonna go away. Always keep moving if you want to avoid. If you want to avoid gene stealers, keep moving. Because they're melee, they will have trouble chasing you while your uh, assault, actually your heavy gunner will uh, mow them down. So what I, I, there's something wrong with my um, button here. So you need to block the attack. See, that, that's a problem. Something is wrong. Block the attack. Melee. That will create a big shockwave and it will kill most enemies with just one hit. Put this thing here, complete the mission. 
So mostly the difficulty comes from positioning. If you have good positioning, you should have no problem whatsoever. Block, attack. See? Block. Block, and these guys are going away. Okay, let's go and grab this relic. It should be a major relic. Okay, we have to... We have to hold and defend. Man, I, I really need to change the button for blocking. Because it's really annoying me. I don't know why this button is not working properly. Block. There you go. There you go. Take it and like it. Yeah, you're both of your hate. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about. There you go. Brother Barakiel, Manahum, you need to heal yourself. Actually, I need healing. Right. Okay, I want you guys to move there. Okay. Okay, we need to help our teammates. Brothers! Block and attack. Oh well, he died. Oh well. Block. Attack. Oh, I need KO. There you go. Uh, heal. You need to heal. Where did he go? Okay. The sensorium has detected explosives nearby a significant reserve. Yeah, some enemies are invisible of this train, so you can see them. Okay, let's keep moving. What do we have to do? Um, hybrids have rigged a vital fuel reserve with explosive. If use explosive, charges before they detonate. So this is in your psi gate. Don't pay attention to it. Uh, where is the objective? There. We need to go over there. So let's plan the route. Okay, we, we talked about planning the route. So, or route. W what's the pronunciation? I don't know. So the best way we can do, since we blocked this door, it, we need to go this way block this door and keep moving this way we need to block this door too drop the relic here and where's the best place to go we need to go through the through the big room so chances are as i expect we will find a brood lord because brood lords do not appear in small corridors i mean it's possible they can but i've already already always seen them in these big areas so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna back you backtrack into the side gate and I'm gonna change the layout of my troops. Um, we need to go into this big area from here, close the door behind us, although it's not necessary really. Such a big room, we don't need to do that. We're gonna just beeline for this area, drop inside, close the door, close this door, move here, close this door, close this door, and we have access to the objective. It's pointless to close this door because enemies will come from many directions. Maybe we shouldn't close this door. Okay, let's go back into the side gate. I'm gonna lose some experience, that's fine. I don't mind. Okay, you get healed up. You can access your um, 
teammates. So, Brother Baraki, we're gonna go into a big area with a lot of enemies, he won't be able to keep up. So, I'm gonna give him a Thunder Hammer because good anti armor is gonna melee the Brute Lord if it's present. As for me, my uh, Bolter, my Hate, doesn't have anti armor. So, what I want to do is probably either go with a Heavy Flamer or a Spear of, spear of Caliban. I'm gonna go with a Spear of Caliban. So, let's deploy. So changing your loadout, you should you should make assumptions because at least you have oh, oh, oh. okay follow me there you go let's go let's keep moving. Oh, I forgot I have the... See, Brother, no brother Bracket is basically... Alright. Lock this door. You hold down the E button. Right, so... There you go. I don't mind a couple of hits. I'm a Terminator. It's okay. Alright. Especially when there are not- Ooh, Bro! There you go, blocked. See? I was blocking and I got- Okay. Let's block this one. Okay, block this door. We absolutely need to block this door. Right, see? Borakil is basically immune to damage. He's still full HP, so you don't have to worry about him. I don't like him with the um, Thunder Hammer because it's too easy, but... I'd rather have him for the purpose of this video dressed like that. Okay, let's keep moving. Also, if you wanna take the relics, you should plan around them. So are you guys coming? See, you shouldn't have to worry about, worry about your back. There you go. Keep running. He's gonna hold them at bay. In the meantime, we should totally run, by the way. There you go. Exploded. Let's go. Keep on going. I'm gonna heal the apothecary. Oh, I told you. I told you. There's a lot of shit here going on. Weapon overheated. I need to get out of here. Okay. So. Uh, there are enemies here. Which I don't like. So what I need to do now is scan and destroy this turret because it's in a bad position. Support destroyed. Hopefully I will be able to. Excellent. Whew. Alright. I need to be healed because I like to be at full health. And now we can go. There you go. Keep running. We need to be live for this area. Thunder Armor is gonna block them all, so it's fine. Get out of my face, dirty Zeno. Alright. Block the door. Uh, you just materialized through the door. Whatever. We blocked, so they're gonna come this way. Oh, someone was invisible here. So the white gene stealers are stronger than the standard gene, ste gene stealers because they are enhanced with the Terminator genes. The gene glands, I believe they're called. Something like that. So the Spear of Caliban will do great work against them, as you can see. Great choice, because the Storm Bolter is gonna take some more, um, some more hits. Okay. Vigilance 
Okay, we're gonna destroy all these things. Ooh. That is bad. That's not bad. Um, I think we failed. Well, we didn't do it in time, but you kind of get the gist of it. It's okay, if you lose, it's fine. Even if you fail, look at the experience I got, I'm almost leveled up. It, it's totally fine, but I wanted to show you how to play the game. Now, this I forgot it was timed, so I just went with the flow. But hopefully this will give you a good um, introduction to the gameplay. And should you want to, you can totally go with these tactics and it works great. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, especially the blocking part is very useful against Broodlords unless they obviously uh, conjure the lightning on your head that's unblockable. But their standard attacks, if you block them, it, you're okay. Anyway, hopefully this will help you and um, if you have any question or doubts you can leave a comment and I will get to it. Thank you for watching, see you somewhere else. Bye!